Today's sponsor is BT Miners. BT Miners has been a longtime sponsor of the channel and a proven reliable source for ASIC miners. If you are looking to purchase ASICs hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners has recently launched an app on iOS and Android that lets you browse their inventory by profitability and return on investment. Follow the affiliate link in the description and use promo code SOAT for a discount. For you nerds out there building proof of useful work rigs is that we are going to have 64 gigabyte DDR5 modules coming soon. And the desktop PC memory is soon going to get another major capacity boost with the upcoming release of 64 gigabyte DDR5 modules. This means like for proof of useful work, you could potentially just build a desktop PC and have plenty of room for as much memory or RAM as you could possibly need and throw on, you know, vast AI or Flux OS or whatever it may be and run more containers, that sort of thing, right? Or Chlor.ai, whatever you're, you, you prefer. For a long time, the maximum supported memory capacity for desktop PCs was 128 gigabytes and the max capacity per module was 32 gigabytes. This changed when DRAM makers introduced a brand new 24 gigabyte and 48 gigabyte kits based on the 24 gigabyte DRAM allowing for 192 capacities. MSI was among the first motherboard makers to offer support for such high capacities and now the company will be the first to offer support for 256 gigabyte capacities on its desktop PC platforms. Micron's one beta DRAM which comprises 32 gigabyte DRAM modules is coming to the market soon with the likes of Kingston's Fury Renegade DDR5 memory kit. The kit features four DDR5 modules and each one is equipped with 64 gigabyte capacity for a total of up to 256 gigabytes. That's a 33% increase over the past 192 gigabyte capacities, which are still a huge amount for a mainstream desktop PC platform. But once again, we're not really looking at it from that perspective. We're looking at it from the perspective of being able to buy a consumer grade motherboard as opposed to server grade components throwing that in there having all the latest features like resizable bar and smart access memory and so on and be able to deploy it in a manner that is utilized for things like chlor ai vast ai and so on a flux os whatever it may be this is a huge deal since you no longer require require to get four memory modules to uh, hit 128 gigabytes now that's a good point too from that perspective, for people that are trying to, if you guys aren't familiar, a lot of these platforms work really well on dual channel, but as soon as you go to quad channel, you really get some performance degradation, especially on the XMP overclocking side of things. And so you can get better performance by putting in two of the 64 gigabyte modules. You still have 128 gigabyte, but you will get into dual channel, which presumably would give you better performance on the CPU side of things, especially on AMD platforms as far as that's concerned. MSI is demonstrating a 256 gigabyte capacity setup on its Pro X 670p Wi-Fi motherboard equipped with the 7900X CPU. You will require a BIOS update, of course, to enable optimal support for the 256 gigabyte capacities and 64 gigabyte DDR5 modules. ASRock has also showcased support for 256 gigabyte capacities utilizing 64 gigabyte DDR5 memory modules on both the X670 and the Z790 platforms. This shows that all major motherboard vendors are prepping to support for higher capacities for their specific motherboard platforms. And it's good to see that both Intel and AMD platforms are getting support. So there you guys go, keeping you up to date with that because we are in this weird shifting space from the crypto mining uh, scene where I think a lot of people will be moving to proof of useful work. Here's the thing I wanted to talk about though, because we need to pause, go off on a tangent here and really discuss what has been going on with vast AI, Chlor AI, etc. This is really, really funny. We talk about it on Locals because I've been utilizing it and doing guides over there on Locals. So you can check those guides out if you're interested at sonofatech.locals.com. But a majority of the rentals that are going on on these AI platforms aren't doing any AI processing whatsoever. And then you have people coming out and being like, oh, they're renting out for so much money. Well, they're renting out for so much money because you're stupid not mining the thing that they are and they're, they're hash rate arbitraging your ass.
That's really what's going on here across the board is that if your rental price is low enough to where somebody can make a profit mining something, they're renting it and mining something off of it. 99% of the GPU rigs that are getting rented off of Vast and Clore are mining. And they're mining a mix of things like if they do have a good CPU, right? They're mining a mix of Zeph and then something else. So this is really what's going on. And the AI denotion, uh, what AI ticker or whatever on all of these is really just a bunch of bullshit from the very get go. Because all you're really talking about once again with this is just virtual private servers. That's really what you're talking about at the end of the day. You can deploy a Docker container just like you could with Flux. Of course, Flux now is going to be at integrating, you know, GPU support into those nodes. It's no different than that. That is pretty much what you're doing. And the AI is the AI marker in the names is just a buzzword at, at the very best. Most people that are utilizing AI on a pretty hefty scale are going with private companies and this is something that i've been looking at for the past year been talking to people that have been getting into it and what the what most people that are actually heavily heavily leveraging ai are doing is they're not throw building rigs and then throwing them onto vast ai or something along those lines they're building the rigs and then creating a partnership with a company that's actually doing ai and that's all internal and closed off Maybe that bleeds over, but I don't think that the demand is at the consumer retail level for AI processing. So until really like Joe Schmo, uh, who is, you know, hanging out in his basement and wants to spin up an AI project real quick is actually do, doing that. I don't think that you're going to see platforms like Vast AI or Clore AI actually do any AI processing by and large. Okay. So this is something you should pay attention to. If the vast AI and the Clore AI rig prices are going up, it means you're missing out on something that's more profitable and you need to start digging into that. That's really the moral of the story there, okay? One of the strategies that you can use that I think is really interesting is building a, building a rig, right? Putting it at your electricity rate level so as cheap as you can put it, throwing it on Vaster Clore, waiting till it gets spun up, check what it is actually doing, and then you'll find out what's being profitable right now. That's kind of what I would look at doing. That's, you know, as kind of like almost like a psyop, right? Like you're, you're like figuring out who's doing what by just kind of, you're basically, you have a honeypot mining rig is what you're creating. And that, that's a strategy that I think is really interesting. Now, you guys mined during the bear market. You made it through, well, at least maybe a half of you. I know a lot of you motherfuckers over here didn't actually do it. But the ones that did, I have a new shirt for you guys. And it says, I mined with the bears for the bear market, okay? So if you mined with the bears and you want to rep that you did mine during the bear market, go ahead and head on over to shop.sonofatech.com. And the listing will be down below. I'll put it in live chat right now. I have a sweatshirt. There's a sticker. If you'd rather have a sticker, t-shirt, premium shirt, all that cool, cool stuff. Um, really like the new shirt. I ordered a few for myself. And I just had that design finished this week. Eventually, it'll be under on the YouTube channel. But that takes a little bit of time. So just give it some time. Uh, proceeds, of course, go to supporting me in the channel. So there you go. And I thought uh, we put some work into it and I thought you guys might enjoy it. Thanks for watching this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here and don't forget to subscribe down here as well. You can also check out my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com where you can get a free month of supporter status with a purchase at sonofatech.locals.com. Also, don't forget to check out my merch underneath the video or at shop.sonofatech.com. I'll see you next Tuesday.